this tattoo down here, which says everything I wanted but nothing I'll ever need. Is that not something or did you just... No, I made it up actually, so yeah. Cool. I'm deep. Not really, not really that deep. This is like my third or fourth tattoo. The story behind this one, every time I've done this, I've probably been a, at least a little bit drunk or wavy in one way, sense or another. Everyone was going to the tattoo shop and I thought, I'm just gonna get something like whatever it is. So I started Googling random stuff and then I'm like, oh yeah, that'll be cool. And the guy put me on the front desk. So I'm like lying face down on the front desk of the shop. And then he put the design on and I hadn't got the heart to tell him that it was too big. Cause I was just like nervous. He was like a big like tattooed like biker guy. And I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna get it. And then I literally woke up the next morning in a little bit of a haze, not really remember what was going on, but I knew my arm was really hurting. And I was like, oh no. And then I was like having flashbacks of what happened the night before. And I looked down at my arm and I was like, oh my God. And this was the only tattoo I ever Googled, like how do you remove tattoos? <laughs> and on the nighttime, we were performing on X Factor America. This is my singing arm. I forgot it was my microphone arm. So then bang, like arrows are going up, like it's all working out. And my dad was at home in the UK. He turned around to my sister when my arm came up on a TV. He went, I hope they're bloody stickers. I regretted it massively, but I think what you find with tattoos is like for anyone who feels like they have a bad tattoo or something out there, like it just becomes part of you. Like it becomes like a little scar on your skin that you keep with you. And it's a story and it's a memory of something that you did. And then funnily enough, this actually became my whole Hugo fashion range logo. So it was like one of the best mistakes I've ever made. What's your first it's like on my leg here, there's like a little cross on my ankle and a cross on the other ankle to screw your legs to your feet so it keeps you grounded or whatever it was, something stupid. But we got these things. It was like, I thought I'd start at the ankle. I suppose I was like kind of teasing myself into it so I could see what it felt like before I like went in for it. Probably was a little bit of a mistake because I, I didn't know I was going to end up like this. <laughs> well, here we go. I think next I got this tattoo down here, which says everything I wanted, but nothing I'll ever need. And it was kind of like a place in my life where I'd gotten to a certain point of success and it was like really, really cool, but it was just a super lonely atmosphere whenever you get home because you lose a lot of different friends and whatever else. And I was like in this amazing penthouse that I, that I, I owned, but I was still sad and I was like, ah, oh, it's everything I ever wanted, but it's nothing I'll ever need because all you ever really need is good people around you, I guess. I, first of all, I was trying to think like, what can I get? I need to get something deep and meaningful. And then like that idea now, has just gone totally out the window. When you get to a certain point of tattoos, you just kind of want to fill space, I feel, of just nice pictures, whatever else. So a lot more of my tattoos now are more pictures rather than, than things that have special meanings or whatever. I just, I don't know, I just like the artwork of it, I guess. I feel like this only time will tell, which is like my only like dad joke tattoo, because it goes next to my watch, which I thought was quite funky. So there's the time to tell it. I just start running out of ideas for different things. So I just started like throwing loads of random stuff on me. I mean, I have my initials. LP, which can also stand for many other things that are also rude and hilarious. We got a bunch of roses going on here, some eagle guys flying away. I get a lot of banners, and then I don't know what to put in the banners. Like I've just kind of left space for stuff that might mean something one day. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. I'm just, I don't know. I'm gonna just color it in. <laughs> oh, we can like write something new every day, actually. That's a good idea. I like that. This one I kind of got when I was a bit pissed off about something. When we were in the band and there was loads of like, animosity going on. I got this like little school design thing and it says we are the quiet ones because we were never allowed to say anything. Nobody wanted to tarnish the image of whatever the hell was going on in the thing. So trying to hide a bunch of stuff bleeds over into your normal life as well as it does you playing whatever character it is you play as a celebrity or a performer or whatever. So that was kind of like a bit of an angsty tattoo. I got the pleasure of meeting um, someone called Nico Hurtado. He did some sort of like tattoo TV program, but he just used to come over to my house in LA. And then we do like, I mean, one sitting from here to here was like 13 hours. I'd text my mom, the tattoo artist was already at the house. And I was like, ah, oh, like what's my time of birth? And then she didn't answer for like an hour. So I was like, just, I don't know, just put on what the clock says now, whatever it is. And we put it on. But then I, I like it because it kind of worked out that it's like five to 12, which five to 12 is like five minutes to lunchtime. It's a great time of day. Or at five minutes to party time, another great time of day. So it all works out. Up here, I have like my family coat of arms, which I didn't realize looks remarkably like Gryffindor, which also is one of my other favorite things, which works out nicely. Well, there's a lion in the middle, and then the, there's meant to be something here, my family slogan, which was like, I'd rather die than be disgraced, which I thought my family must have been absolute badasses back in the day, which is cool, which I still have to get that written in. But the detail on this bit in particular is just crazy. I mean, Nico is literally one of the best artists in the world, so, but it took ages, and it really hurt by the time you get down to the elbow, like, ugh, like a stripper now. 
Roman numerals are my X-Factor number, but I, I can't read Roman, so I've kind of stuck to tell you exactly what they are, but this was like my X-Factor number um, from when I was on the show. I feel like the most painful was hands, but in particular this hand. I had one guy do it and the guy completely screwed it up. And so I've had this hand done like three times. This was, I think, five hours just here. Third and fourth hour, I was like really feeling it. And then the last thing he made me do, he was like, can you just put your fist like this? And I thought he just wanted to look at it. And then he was like going into the way the knuckles are. And obviously your knuckles are like completely open at that point. It was horrible. The feather, when I was little, I read this story after my nan passed away with my mom. And it was basically about a little boy and the woman in the house kept finding like owl feathers around the house. And the day after I read the story, I came downstairs, walked over to where the blinds were and there was this huge feather. So me and my mom kind of thought it was my nan, so I got that for my nan, which is quite cool. I definitely need to fill the rest of this arm up and then I think I only want to go across my chest and then maybe something here. My advice for people getting tattoos is that once you start, you will not stop because there'll always be some sort of space that you look at and go, I need to get something there. And that's kind of what happened to me with all of my tattoos. And I saw online the other day that somebody had like done a picture of me and edited out all my tattoos. And I always wondered like what I'd look like without them and I absolutely hated it. So I know I made the right choice, but really make sure when you get the first one that it's what you want to do because once you start, you, you won't stop.